Okay, good afternoon. Welcome back here at the Amateur's office. We're just moving into the afternoon sessions of the festival today. The morning went really well. I just want to catch up with Ben now, who you will have seen this morning facilitating some of the Miro whiteboard sessions. Let's just find out what he's got in store for us next. Let's go and have a look. Quite similar to this morning sessions though, but, um, but with more of a focus on discussion and trying to get the ideas out there rather than just a sort of uh, idea dump, which is what we kind of did this morning. So we're looking forward to a few more years here rather than uh, the immediate issues we've got right now. Excellent. And how do you think the virtual aspect is going? I think it's gone really well actually. The, the, the virtual whiteboards, they allow everybody to get a say in. So rather than having to um, sort of have one person at the board or that sort of thing. Everybody can put down what they think and bring it all together to help it to Excellent, that's really good. Mike, how do you think, how was your presentation? I'm going to give a, a little quick. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I was the warm up act, I guess. So, what I'm trying to do, or what I was trying to do, was provide a bridge between the morning and afternoon sessions and get everybody maybe motivated and excited about getting involved. That's the biggest challenge I think we envisaged and have found with the online event is when you're in a tent or in a room with people, you can gauge motivation and you can really try and lift people. Whereas online it's, it's different, it's, it's less tangible. So you're trying to set and guess and say, okay, how can we get everybody, everybody's grey matter working again in the afternoon because it's a, lot, it's a long old day. And so, you know, we're halfway through the afternoon session just readying ourselves for the final interactive session Ben's hosting and uh, it's going to be a real deep dive discussion into uh, some of the challenges that we think might be able to be solved with uh, the observation data and we're hoping for that real wow moment as somebody says that's what we need if we can get that then we've got the cherry on the cake absolutely great and I'll just I think it's going really well, personally, I'm really enjoying it. Um, have you got a little thank you just for the organisers of the event? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we've been involved with the Innovation Festival since its its first year, since my retro <laughs> model from, from 2017 still in use today. But we've, we've, we've been getting increasingly involved, I guess, as our own business has grown. But we, you know, we, we really appreciate I guess the effort that Northumbrian Water Group puts in to set up this event, um, we certainly grasp the opportunity to get more involved each year. And you know, really for the first time, I think we've maybe taken a, a bit more control over what we see a bit as, a, as a particular opportunity um, to solve a problem for the water industry. With technology that we see ourselves as the experts in the room, some collaboration, and bring that together. And so, you know, what we're really seeing today is, I guess, a realization of maybe something that we were hoping we'd be able to get to three, four years ago. And we're sort of then looking forward for the next five years through the next water sort of and period and saying, you know, can some of the technology that we're looking at today be realized? over the next five years. Quite exciting. Really. That's fantastic. So my watch has it's all past so we're gonna dive right back in. We'll see you later.